Ever wonder how to get the cinematic look without relying on LUTs or plugins? Today I'm gonna show you how to transform your raw footage into the stunning film grade look using nothing but DaVinci Resolve's built in tools, especially the new Film Look Grader. No LUTs, no dehancer, just pure grading power. Let's dive in. First, let's set up our CSD nodes to establish a true baseline of what the camera captured. For today's footage, shot on a DJI camera, we'll use DJI D gamut for the input color space and DJI D log for the input gamma. Keep in mind, these settings will vary depending on the camera and footage you're working with. Next, we'll convert the footage to DaVinci White gamut color space giving us plenty of room to work with the colors. We'll also skip the tone mapping in the input CSD to avoid compressing our highlights and shadows right from the start. In the output CSD node, we'll set the input color space to DaVinci White Gamut and the input gamut to DaVinci Intermediate. For the output, we'll use Reg 709 as the color space and Gamma 2.4 for the output gamma. This time, we'll apply DaVinci's tone mapping method with a maximum input of 10,000 nits and we'll set the max output to 100 nits. Now that our footage is in the correct color space, let's dive into creating our film look. My goto is the Kodak 2383, which is conveniently built in DaVinci Resolve. Let's apply it as our starting point. For a more detailed guide on using DaVinci Resolve's Codec 2383 film look, you can click the link above to check out my dedicated tutorial. Before we move on to the film look creator, I want to adjust the exposure and add some contrast to establish a solid foundation for our look. For this adjustment, we'll use the exposure slider in the HDR wheels panel. We need to ensure that the focal point in the shot, in this case the man, is exposed properly. Now let's add some contrast. We'll use the gain wheel in the primary wheels panel to control the contrast and the offset wheel to adjust our pivot point. Now that we have a solid foundation, let's bring in the film look creator tool and start crafting our final look. I prefer to start with a clean slate, so let's switch to that. I'll keep both the color blend and effect blend at their maximum levels so we can clearly see the impact of each adjustment. Since we've already handled our color space adjustments, we won't be using the color space overwrite section. We'll stay within the DaVinci White gamut color space for maximum uh, flexibility. Next, let's bring in the film look provided by the film look creator. Again, we'll set the blend to maximum so we can clearly see its effect. You can experiment with the different styles available here. As the name suggests, Rochester is likely inspired by Kodak's film look, given their headquarters in Rochester, while Akasaka draws inspiration from Fujifilm, with its headquarters in Akasaka. For this shot, I'll go with the vintage look, because I love the split toning effect it provides. However, I'll reduce its strength a bit, as it looks a bit too intense for my taste. Now let's move on to adjusting the color settings. Here you can fine tune your exposure if needed and tweak the contrast slightly depending on your desired look. Uh, however, it's generally best to handle exposure and contrast adjustments at the very beginning when building your solid foundation. Here we can also adjust the highlights, fade effect and saturation. I'm going to increase the saturation a bit to make the subject's face pop more and enhance the split toning effect. One of my favorite features in this film look creator is the bleach effect. It's incredibly convenient, eliminating the need for complex uh, layer nodes. Let's pause for a second now and toggle on and off to see where we are in our look creation. Looking good. 
To enhance the split toning, we have more options available right here. Let's enable it and increase the amount. Then we can adjust the hue to achieve the perfect split toning. I like the around here for this shot. Finally, let's tweak the pivot to this point to get the look just right. Let's toggle on and off again to see the difference. Looking great. Next, let's add some vignette. You can adjust its strength to your liking. For the halation, I'll stick with the default settings and keep it subtle. Finally, we'll add some bloom and a touch of film grain. And remember, as I always say, when it comes to film grain, less is more. Alright, here we have our complete film look, created entirely with DaVinci Resolve's built-in tools. Before we wrap up though, I want to refine the subject's face just a little more. And for that, I'll use one of my secret sauce tools, Face Refinement. Here we'll detect and track his face automatically, then slightly increase the saturation and reduce some of the shine. And there it is, our final film grade, all done without any LUTs or plugins, just using DaVinci Resolve's built-in tools. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. If you did, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.